Hey guys, what's up? My name is Perez and welcome to another episode of NHL B or NHL 20 B a pro. We got eight hours left on the trial and the game comes out in five days. As of this recording, it comes out in six days. I'm recording this on Saturday, October 10th. By the way, if you guys want to skip to the gameplay and don't want to have or don't want to see like the nonsense before the game, like interviews and just be talking. You guys want to get straight to the game. There'll be a timestamp in the description and also in the comments where it just goes right into the start of the game. Um, so I like to do these little intros for you guys, but if you guys want to skip them or anything like that, there'll be a timestamp in the description and also in the comments below. So if you guys want to skip ahead and all that stuff. But um, anyways, welcome back. Um, I've been, I've been trying to reply to your, your guys' comments on NHL 21 the best as I can. And, um, you guys are going absolutely insane with the amount of views and the amount of likes I'm beginning on this series. It's, it's awesome. And I can't thank you guys enough for the amount of support you guys have given me on this series. And, um, I just, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Uh, but anyways, our next preseason game is against Pittsburgh. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to skip to that, you guys can. Um, but before we actually get this video started, if you guys are watching it right now, we're going to check out a couple of things here. I know uh, somebody asked me if we could get traded or not, if there was like a free agency. I didn't see anything, and I haven't seen anything. So maybe after the preseason We'll actually get to those type of events, um, but currently we are not. Um, we're not there. So, anyways, we're gonna play against the. Uh, uh, we're gonna play against the Pittsburgh here. Ten minutes per period. You guys have been liking the longer videos, and a um, little bit harder for me to actually make uh, regarding like just stuff to talk about. Um, I'm gonna change the game settings because I actually really want to do well. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it a pro. I'm gonna keep it a pro for one more game. And um, we did score the last game. Also, uh, we've been almost scoring almost every single game uh, that we have played here. Actually, uh, I believe we scored our first. We scored two goals in our first game. We scored a goal in our second game. Um, I forget how many goals we actually have, and we're actually playing on winger too, which is which is weird because I selected my guy to be center, and we're actually playing on wing, which you guys voted for in my community tab, anyways. So yeah, we are playing on winger this time around, which is different for me because I'm so used to setting up for the phase off and all that stuff. So yeah. So we got about, uh, we just started the game, obviously. Um, but, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's a nice little breakout. Stop. Try to get him off our tracks. Shoot through traffic. And I shot it a little bit too high. And no way. No way. I was like a foot away from him. I was like a foot away from him. I need to clean up my act. This is the second penalty that I got. I was so far away from him. Look at that. I was so far away. Come on, man. Oh, that, that's a bad start. This is a bad start to a game. Bad start to a game. Uh, man, this uh, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. We definitely need to clean up our act here, and um, possibly try to get our team in front of the net, obviously, to possibly get a goal, or yeah, to get a goal for ourselves, or to get an assist. Which I'm happy for getting both. Uh, either either one, I'm happy. Either assist or goal, I am happy with that. Anyways, offside for them. Offside warning for them. Sorry, offside warning. I thought they actually went offside, but they didn't. Oh, nice little pass off the bank, off the off the boards. Nice little shop shot. I actually almost went in. That was actually really close. I'm actually going in. So, um, I went to hockey practice today for the first time. 
Um, if you guys don't know this, I actually do play hockey in real life. I play a slightly different type of hockey. Um, I play sledge hockey. If you guys haven't heard of sledge hockey, I got multiple videos on my channel of sledge hockey. And you guys can obviously look it up on, on YouTube and look at the Team Canada or Team US, whatever. Um, you can look up there. There's there's tons of videos on sledge hockey. And I have made a few. And um, some former uh, some former like Team Canada players actually made uh, makes videos too on sledge hockey. Um, so, yeah, so if you guys actually want to check it out and see what it actually is, there's tons of videos on my channel. Just look up, just uh, search up GoPro Hockey on my channel and you guys will see it there. Um, but yeah, so I had my first practice today, which was supposed to be last Saturday, um, but um, stuff happened. Uh, people, people canceled, not enough people actually going. And yeah, so I had my first practice today. I am practicing with team three. We have three different teams in our organization. We have team one, which is the younger team, team two, which is the development team, and team three is the like competitive team, uh, a little bit more hardcore when it comes down to it. Um, so, oh, there we go. Nice little pass there. Oh, I wish he passed it in front there. Wish he passed it in front there. That would have been... That would have been sweet. I'm blocking the goalie's vision, and man, I'm do I'm doing good on the offense regarding like offense and what we need to do here. It's just we're not getting the goals that we need. We're just we're not getting the goals that we need. Yeah. So uh, when I'm practice today, actually a really tough practice because I haven't been on the ice since uh, since March, since uh, like COVID nineteen uh, quarantine really set in for for Canada. And the city that I live in, uh, everything went on lockdown, uh, requ uh, required by the city. Everything should have been canceled. Re like any sport got canceled or anything like that, um, which a lot of stuff got canceled in the world also. Um, but um, yeah, so they ended our season a little bit short. Uh, we only had a couple practices left anyways. We had about like five to six practices. And what a beautiful goal. I've been been loving the backhand goals lately. Like, my guy's been loving the backhand goals. There we go. There's our second goal of the preseason. There we go. We got another another one here, boys. Um, but, yeah, so I actually lifted my arms there, and it hurts. My arms are killing me. Um, so with sledge hockey to propel yourself on the ice when you're actually sitting down in the sled there's two blades underneath you i'll try to i'll explain a little bit here for you um there's two blades underneath you just regular hockey blades um and to pro to propel yourself on the ice you use two different sticks with spikes at the end of them to propel yourself on the ice um so we get two sticks so i can actually shoot left or right handed which is um really hard to do uh and, and all that stuff but with sledge hockey if you if you can use both arms um you're most likely you can shoot with both arms if you practice enough you can actually shoot with both arms in sledge hockey but obviously being sledge hockey is a it's a disabled sport it's mostly for people with a disability either they got injured in a war they're missing they're missing their legs or they're missing their leg or they're missing their arm or something like that. Or they can't play stand-up hockey. Sledge hockey is there for them. And uh, it's awesome. So, yeah. So, I went into hockey practice today. I was like, okay, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be all right. I'm going to take it slow. <laughs> uh, nope. It is not easy getting back on the ice after six, seven months of not... Uh, not exercising because obviously everything got shut down with COVID-19 and um, pretty much all the gyms got shut down and anyways I, I canceled my gym membership anyways um, before before all this happened I was, just, I was getting sick and tired of paying when I was not going so I'm not going to pay um, like $30 a month if I'm not using it it's just a waste of money so I canceled my gym membership and then everything went to uh, everyone with the lockdown and everything. 
um, so I didn't have an opportunity to actually work out. I don't have any workout equipment in my house or anything like that. Um, I did plan on buying a Peloton bike, actually. Uh, I plan on buying like an exercise bike, one of those smart ones, um, or they just, or just, uh, or just an exercise bike that I can just hook up uh, iPad to and uh, do it that way. Um, but uh, I didn't. I just sat around playing video games, recording videos for you guys, obviously, to try to keep you guys entertained during during lockdown. And obviously, some places are still locked down, some places are out of it, and uh, some places are completely out of it and not doing any lockdowns or anything like that. Um, but uh, here in Canada, especially in Ontario right now, um, we're kind of going back to stage two. We were in the process of stage going, probably going to stage four. Um, but uh, some some regions here in Ontario, some cities here in Ontario have gone back into lockdown because they've seen a huge spike in cases regarding uh, COVID-19, which sucks, but uh, people need to need to be smart out there and listen to the rules and listen to the experts that uh, that actually put everything in place. Um, but anyways, won't be talking about that. But anyways, going back to sledge hockey. Um, yeah, so we practiced for about an hour. Uh, it was kind of just like a practice just to just to get back on our feet or just get back in our sleds, get used to being on the ice again get used to get our shoulders used to everything and all that stuff because you use your core and your arms quite a lot in this sport um so that's one of the uh one of the main factors regarding in this sport is just your strength your core strength obviously to keep your balance and to and your arm strength to keep on propelling yourself for two minutes straight pretty much because you're constantly moving in sledge hockey. Like, there is no breaks unless you go on the bench. Um, so, yeah, so you're constantly, constantly working and moving and moving and moving. Like, I drank, like, after each practice, I have, a, like, a like a protein shake and whatever to, to help recover my muscles and recover the stuff that I lost during the workout. Um, but after that, like my muscles were like, uh, um, what was that? <laughs> like, what was that? So, but, uh, anyways, it was a tough workout. I'm glad I actually, actually went and everything. Oh my God. There's another goal. That's our second goal of the night here. We're really killing it boys. We're killing it out here. <laughs> That's our second goal of the night, man. We've been. We've been rocking it. We've been rocking to this game. I wonder what the coach is going to say to us after this. I'm really, really wondering. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice big hit. Nice big hit. Okay, our coach wants to go to the bench. Okay, we won't do any more long. Um, <clears throat> sorry there. Um, I need to take a drink. Sorry about that, but just uh, something caught in my throat. Yeah, so I wonder what the coach is actually going to say because we've been just just killing it. Just killing it this game. Oh, I left that guy. All right, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, get past him. Oh, I tried to pass it, but I went a little bit too... Uh, waited a little bit too long for that pass. Yeah, so in practice today, we just did, uh, just did skating drills and shooting drills and all that anything like that there's a lot more people that are supposed to come but they did not come because it is um thanksgiving weekend here in canada actually we're having our thanksgiving um i think it's <laughs> i think it's this today as you guys are watching this actually i'm checking my calendar i'm gonna completely yes it is oh no tomorrow monday monday is thanksgiving for us here in canada um yeah, so we celebrated a little bit early than um, than America, I believe. I believe America celebrates in like November. I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. What am I doing here? I'm looking at my calendar. I'm not really paying attention to the game, the game. So I should really pay attention to that. Yeah. So it's our it's Thanksgiving weekend for us. Uh, so. 
yeah so everything's uh everything's pretty much closed because of uh well, obviously, as, aside from COVID-19, um, but um, yeah, everything else is closed because either they don't work on Thanksgiving weekend or COVID-19. But uh, anyways, we're rocking with two goal lead going into the third and final period here. Are we in the third already? Are we in the third already? Our number might change. I know it's 13 now. And we chose the number 12. Obviously, number 12 is my my favorite number. I always had it in this game. Or uh, my actual number in sledge hockey is actually 66. Which is... Um... Oh, here we go. What's the coach going to say? We're sitting on a lead here late in the game. Let's shut them down and bring home this. Bring home the win. Got it. I'll work, uh, yeah, maximizing or minimizing their scoring chances. Always work for the team, boys. Always, always be a team player, either in any sport, in any sport. Be a team player because you'll have a lot better time playing that sport if you're a team player than you're just going to be the one guy that does everything. Like, if you be a team player, you can, you'll have so much more fun playing the game. Uh, any sports regarding like hockey or football or soccer or football or European football or American football however you whatever sport you play if you play with a team um, or with your friends just just have fun with it like have fun with with your team make it fun don't don't be over too serious over with it um, yeah so just have fun that's all it is. That's all it is. You remember, like, if you're playing football, you're playing any sport or hockey or anything like that. You're not getting paid. You're not getting paid unless you're going to go professionally and you're and you play in the OHL or you want to get into the NHL and stuff and all that. Just you're not like you're not getting paid for it. So just have fun for it. Just have fun. That's uh, that's why I play sledge hockey. I don't play to win sledge. I don't play to win my games. Obviously, I do play like I want to win my games, like everyone else. Everyone wants to win their games, but at the end of the day, I just want to have fun with my teammates, and I I even show that with my teammates, even to uh, just have fun with it. Just have fun. There's no need to be super super serious about it. And there we go. It's our first hat trick. That is our first. We go around. We we toe drag around the defenseman, then go in for the backhanded goal. Man, we're we're backhand wonders to this. That's gonna be the title of this video. I just I just got the title of this video, backhand wonder. There we go. That's our third goal of the night, and that's our first hat trick. We're absolutely killing it in this game. We're absolutely killing it in this game, boys. Look at that crowd. Look at that crowd. They're going crazy. They're going crazy. Oh, our coach is going to have something else to say. What is it? Nice deke. Open. Open the ways. Bigger lead. Get in the game. Promise success. Thanks. Uh, they totally didn't expect that goal. No, they didn't. I didn't even expect that goal myself. I didn't even expect that goal myself. I like these little interactions that we have with the coach. It's 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 actually a lot of fun. It brings a different narrative into into be a pro. Even though like we'll probably get sick and tired of it uh, after a while, um, we'll just it's it's different. It's different thing. It's a new thing in be a pro, and maybe maybe next year they'll improve it quite a lot even more if we give them feedback on it and what we want to see changed and all that stuff. And, Maybe maybe they'll make it a lot better next year. Um, like I said, like a lot of people were disappointed in how many games you actually play in Europe, and I was disappointed too. Like I was disappointed too. So don't like don't think I wasn't disappointed in that. I was like everyone else. But you guys gotta understand, this is the first time that even having a Europe team or having Europe uh, to actually play in Europe, this is the first year that. EA is doing it or EA is allowing it or something like whatever 
these guys got to be grateful that we actually have changes to be a pro. Like, you just got to be happy with it. You just got to accept it, move on, um, be happy for what we actually got with be a pro because they actually made changes. They actually made improvements to be a pro and they added some type of storyline to be a pro. Um, they didn't add like a really dude with your motorcycle. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I have my window open because it's, it's nice and cool out. So I want to bring a nice cool breeze into my room. Um, but anyways, yeah, just, just be happy what we got with, with be a pro. I know it was only like a small tournament within Europe and I was disappointed too. Um, I wish we can actually play like a full season in there. Um, but unfortunately we cannot, um, there probably is a way you can actually do it. Um, I will try it out with when I get the full game, I'll try out what I'm actually thinking. Um, because there's a little trick in um, in the last game that you could do to make the season last longer. Um, there's a little trick you can do in NHL 20 and also in NHL 19. Um, but um, I don't know if it's going to be... I don't know if it's in this because you actually use your Be a Pro in online too. So online play, you get to use your Be a Pro, um, all that stuff. So your player crosses over into different things. Obviously, you can create a new pro... And anything like that you could definitely create a new pro but it will also carry over into online so you guys got to be careful when when he, when you're making a character and you make changes to that character or you make a new character um, your stats may not carry over um, when you do make that new character so um, yeah so just be aware of that um, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the little trick when I actually get when we actually get uh, the full game Obviously, a full game comes out on the 16th. Uh, I paid for the standard edition. I don't need the extra extra stuff that comes with the other editions. And I didn't have money to spend on it. So, <laughs> I only have enough money to spend on the first, the, the standard edition and a new Xbox. Oh, we're actually killing it. Pro might be a little bit easy. Or it might be just this team. It might be Pittsburgh with their, with their goalie. But, um... Yeah, I might have to. Uh, I thought I was going to lower the difficulty next game. I think I'm going to raise the difficulty next game. Oh, they they actually scored. They actually scored. Good for them. <laughs> Good for them. Anyways, we got five minutes left, six minutes left here uh, in this. So I only made one cut in this video, I believe. Unless something really went wrong with the audio, then I had to cut multiple times. Um, but... I've been trying to do like these one take videos for you guys. I've been really trying to do these one take videos um, because I don't know. It just for me, like sometimes I just like to talk to you guys and turn this into a kind of a t type of like podcast with gameplay in the background, especially with NHL 20 and like the previous NHLs and all that. It, it was definitely helping quite a lot. We're just taking or just talking through the entire video, all that stuff. But with this, there's actually interactions that we do in the, between the game. Sorry. In between the game and also after the game too, also. So we have interviews. Uh, we have interactions with the coach and with the, t um, with the team. Sorry, guys. I get the hiccups. Um, I'm actually... Uh, Think about uh, going on the bench and actually taking care of these hiccups here. Um, hopefully, the microphone's not picking them up. They're pro it, probably not. I'm a little bit further away from the microphone in this video than I was the last video. Oh, what a one timer! How did the goalie see that one? There was a lot of people in front of him. I don't know how the goalie seen that, but he did. Come on, get it up. Get it past this defenseman. I am very low. Oh, there we go. I, wait, I waited a little bit longer. I didn't want to score another goal. Four, four is enough for me. Four goals is enough for me. All right, guys. That is the end of this video. You guys seen a jump cut there. Uh, I was taking care of the hiccups that I had. Um, but anyways, we come up with a huge, huge win with a four-goal win. With a four-goal uh, four game that we had 
Man, we absolutely killed it. We absolutely killed it this game. I cannot believe it. That little breakaway that we had when we, we toe dragged around the defenseman, that was a beauty. And that is probably going to be my thumbnail right there, that celebration. Um, but uh, anyways, we're going to jump into some post-game or yeah, post -game interviews. But first, we got to take a screenshot of that an amazing, amazing celebration that we had at the end of our goal. We got to go way, way back. Way, way back. Let's see how far we can actually, uh, how far we actually need to go back. Let me bring up the thing. So I'm going to actually going to skip ahead here and um, take the screenshot and everything. Then uh, we'll jump back into uh, like the the interviews and stuff. I'll jump back when we actually get there. All right, guys. So I finally got the screenshot and already uh, got there. It was like it was like almost in the beginning of the period, which was a very long time to actually go back. Uh, but I finally got the shot. Finally got the uh, everything that we needed. And uh, we're going to see what happens here with the post-game interview. Player growth. There we go. We got a 1.7. Not too bad. We got a B overall. We could definitely do a lot better. Uh, maybe we can get, like, possibly an A. Uh, there we go. We gained 752 followers. So we got 259,000 followers. Can we actually have that in like real life? Can I have that in real life? Like I really want that in real life. But uh, anyways, um, like we're gonna see what the oh, there's no post game interview. There's no post game interview. We gotta talk to the coach. We gotta talk to the coach here, boys. Hey, Bravo. We know you've been delivering, keeping up the good work. Okay, I just want you to. Ha I don't want to have any doubts when you're playing, when placing you in the team. Thank you, Coach. There's always anything that I can do to improve my game even further. That's my jam, Coach. Now, we're gonna we're gonna work on the uh, we're gonna work on the teammates here. We got five goals, zero assists, five points. I believe we were gonna get an assist, but that could have been in the European League. Uh, relax, Bravo. You're doing great. Just stay focused. Thanks, Coach. I'll keep it up and do whatever I can to help the team win. Boom. Our teammates really liking us. That's good. I like I like having these little interactions and actually having choice on what I actually want to say and what my player or what I want my player to be like in this game. It's actually it's actually pretty awesome. So there's no post game interview in that one. Um, but anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'm glad you, some of you guys like the new intro. That's awesome. Um, if you guys have made it this far in the video, comment down number 13. Just type the number 13 in the comments below if you guys have made it to the end of the video. Uh, just let me know if you guys have made it to the end of the video. Um, but anyways, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links will be in the description. Make sure you guys hit that bell icon so you can come notified when I do upload a video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already. And if you guys want to become a member of this channel, just click the join button right beside the subscribe button. If you guys are on mobile, there will be a link in the description to join um, as well if you want to become a Prez Advisor. So if you want to become a Prez Advisor, there will be a link in the description. Um, for for mobile and on desktop it would just be right there right right beside the subscribe button anyways my name is prez i'll see you guys next time peace out always do it on my own so i gotta get through it and the only thing i know is to love what i'm doing never give up never slow till i finally prove it never listen to the nose i just want to keep moving keep my head up when i act head up that's a fact never looking back i'ma keep myself on track keep my head up